Hi, welcome to my Prime Moon Child. My name is Kaylee. This is a deck unboxing and exploration for Tower Takeover Tarot by Kalani Parisho. I'm really sorry if I mispronounced your name, Kalani. I apologize. Um, this is a deck completely dedicated to one of my three favorite cards in the tarot. I love the Three of Swords, I love the Death card, and I love the Tower. And this is an, uh, a whole entire deck where Kehlani has taken the tarot card as the base for each card in the deck and um, taken the original card and mashed it into to fit in with the tower format. It will make sense when you see it, trust me. So, um, first of all, I'm going to remove this plastic. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I backed this on Kickstarter, but I will try and add the social media links to, um, to have it um outside of that so they have this oh it kind of looks like wood grain effect that's really cool i really like that i don't know if that's meant to be like that but i like that i like that mine looks like wood it's fine um so you have this black gloss printed box a little bit bumped but it's traveled across an ocean you know um a transformative 79 card tarot deck to explore the destruction and liberation of the tower in each card inspired and created during the upheaval of the year 2020 what a tower moment that entire year was um so yeah so this is um a that's the top and the bottom are are clear like the sides it's a flip top box so like a cigarette box as the old cigarette boxes i don't have a clue what cigarettes are like nowadays nice thick box nice sturdy that might have got bumped but it's protected the the deck itself so so there's a guidebook i will go through that afterwards i will go through the cards first so we've got this plastic wrapping oh my god they're edged in black shiny black too ah oh, i like this i like this i like this kind of reminds me you know when you write with a big pen and it has that that black ink but it has like a purpley sheen to it it kind of has that color on the side of these decks and i'm here for it remove the little plastic cuff as you can see these are all going to be the tower in some form or another uh, the back has these gorgeous lightning bolts from the tower because it comes out of nowhere like a bolt of lightning so we have the full and we have the full and i love that this has been um diversity has been considered with this i can see that already it's not going to be a complete whitewash like the traditional rider weight smith um so we have the fool what happened to his dog where's the dog maybe the dog's already gone maybe the dog's in the fire who knows and then we have the magician with all his elements being chucked out with him uh the high priestess she lost her crown the empress or oh, she's trying to find her crown she ain't going easy is she uh, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, I love that the Angel's just there watching, the Chariot, ah those Sphinxes, Strength, we have the Hermit, at least you know like fitting with the theme the lamp is guiding him on his way down so He's just following the lamp. The Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The Hanged Man. Death. I love death. Uh, temperance. Still trying to mix cocktails on the way down. The Devil. The Tower itself. the star the moon the sun oh kids sad judgment the world the artist i love that ace of wands the two of wands three of wands the four of wands the five of wands Ooh. the six of wands the seven the eight the nine of wands the ten the page 
the knight, the queen, and the king. Then we're into the cups. We have the ace of cups, the two of cups. I love that they're trying to go down together, trying to get towards each other. I like that. Three of cups, four of cups, five of cups, the six, the seven, the eight, the nine, and the ten. I love that as you deconstruct the Minor Arcana, it tends to end up as a Pip deck. I kind of like that, and I've never realised that before. Huh. Page of Cups. The Knight of Cups. The Queen. And the King. And then we have the Ace of Swords. The Two of Swords. At least you can't see it coming. The Three of Swords. There's no heart there anymore. Okay. Um, the Four of Swords, the Five, the Six, the Seven, Eight, Nine, Ten, Page, Knight, the Queen, she's still facing that way, and the King. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Two, the Three. The four, five, they're already injured, six, it's ironic that that's about help and he now needs help and there's no one there to help him, seven, eight, the nine, the ten, it's raining money, page of pentacles, the knight of pentacles, the queen and the king of pentacles. So they are traditional tarot size, as I said, they are metallic black um, edged, um, gilt edges. I am a bit sweaty today, so my thumbprints are sticking to them. Um, they're gloss coated, not overly glossy, but they are gloss coated, printed. They're all black. I love that. It's just black and lightning. I love it. Uh, let's see how they riffle shuffle. See how they riffle shuffle beautifully. Beautifully. They riffle shuffle beautifully. Let's try it again one more time. Love it. There's no bending. There's no bending. There's no sticking. The nice smooth shuffling. They just fall over each other. They're not overly slippy, but they are moving independently. They're not sticking cards themselves are relatively thin but they seem to just pop straight back into shape that's really good I like that it's not too heavy a deck because sometimes the gilding can make it even heavier and this doesn't feel too heavy it's decent weight but it's not heavy in any way uh, let's have a look at the guidebooks we have tower takeover uh, we have obviously the inside cover first edition um, this is dedicated to all who have endured the immense upheaval of year 2020 what a year that was. Uh, introduction. Uh, then we go into the major arcana. So we have the four. Each one has its number. There's in then a description of the card and how to read it. All the way through judgment. And then we have the artist and a description about that card, the extra card. And then we go into the minor arcana. So we have ones, the name, a little um, description of the cards, uh, cups, swords, pentacles. And then we go into spreads, the past, present, future, moving forward, forgiveness, decision making, a relationship spread. And then daily draws and some cards and prompts, uh, questions and prompts you can use for those. I really like this first edition on the back. It's simple, it's effective and it's really clever, really clever to take the tower, which some of us fear and just make an entire deck out of it. It's a really clever, innovative idea and I didn't even know I needed it, but I do. So there you go. That is the Tower Takeover Tarot by uh, Kehlani Parisho. Parisho, Parisho, Parisho. I really hope I, at some point, learn how to pronounce that. But anyway, that is the yeah the Tower Takeover Tarot. I will put all the social media links of where to find Kehlani and the deck, um, and her details, how to find out more about her, down below. And hopefully, I will see you again soon. Bye for now.